And these two main things are deliver a smart design that anticipates the kinds of things that people need and makes a phone easy to use in their busy lives, and integrated experiences which bring together the best of the web applications and data onto your phone into simple places for photos, for music and video, for games. So what I have here, uh, what you should be able to see there, I have a prototype hardware. I'm running just a recent daily build. We're, we're sort of a friendly developer audience, and I know you want to see real current code, so that's what I have. Uh, all risks implied by that. And, and on the screen, what you should be seeing are, is both a camera shot of my phone and a video projected output. And I want to show you here, if I pan up this, you see that white dot on the other screen? That's the... Uh, Oops, I didn't mean to navigate, we'll come back. That's the, uh, the an indicator that shows where my finger is being pressed. So you see, as I move up and down here, uh, what you're seeing there is the video output from this phone. Okay, so eventually we're gonna turn this camera off because it lets me pick up the phone and hold it in a more natural way. But rest assured, what you're seeing is actually coming from the phone. It's not an emulator, it's not a video, it's the, the display output from the phone device. So we're going to start on Start as one of the main places where we want to deliver this idea of smart design to end users. And what you see up here on the Start menu, or Start Experience, is a whole bunch of tiles. We call these Live Tiles. And what they try to do is customize the phone experience to be unique and personal to each individual who's using the phone. Um, if you look at what I've got here, um, at the top is my people tile, which shows the, some recent photos of all the people that are my friends on a social network or my contacts on an exchange server. Um, down here, my outlook is indicating that I've got 11 messages that are new since I last looked. The calendar tile is a double Y, accidental tap there. The calendar tile is a double Y uh, because for reading where, when your next appointment is or where it is, you want a lot more space, so it's glanceable and immediately available. The games tile features Xbox Live, and that's my actual avatar peeking up there. Uh, the me tile lets me go set my own status on whatever social network I'm using. Pictures, music and video, each customize themselves, and down there is a, an item for my wife. Uh, now what I want to do is actually customize the position and placement of these tiles. So what I can do is press and hold. And I'm just going to pick this up now. I don't know if you're still seeing the camera, but we'll, we'll switch over to the, the full video version. And when I press and hold, I go into a customization mode where I can take this tile and move it around. Or if I decide I'm not in love with this person anymore, in this case me, I just push the broken heart and say goodbye. And now that tile is gone. Because what I need to do, or I will get in trouble, is take my wife and move her up there into prime spot number one, above the fold. Oh, my screen went. Thank you. Uh, we have, occasionally have problems with the USB video connection, so those folks are yelling to let me know when it goes away. I will unplug and replug and announce back. Thank you. Good job. Uh, so I, I moved my wife into this position, and I'll just touch right here, and she'll pop into place. And now that gives you a sense of how simple it is to make the start experience your own. And these tiles are dynamic, and the intention is to take advantage of some of the hardware specs that we're doing with our OEMs. Every Windows phone has three primary buttons on the front face. Start, search, and back. We, our intent is that you can press start and immediately see when your next appointment is. Immediately see whether your wife or BFF has updated their status information and so on. So I'm going to show you a couple of the built-in experiences here to give you a sense for how the user experience feels and flows. The first one I'm going to look at is email. And I've gone into email here, and at the top, the thing you see there is called a pivot. Uh, I can use the pivot to move over and see mail that's unread or see mail that's flagged. So in this case, the, I'm looking at exchange content, and it's consistent with Outlook on the desktop. I can filter the mail that I flagged, even if I flagged it on my desktop. I can pivot over and see urgent mail, or move back over and look at the pivot for all of my mail. Now, the, the performance we think is quite good. I can scroll through a big list with lots of mail. Um, you get the idea. Now, down here on the bottom is also a, a sort of important element of our design overall. It's called the app bar. And what it intends to do is provide one common place in any application experience where a user can get very comfortable and used to finding the commands for that application. 
And this is one of the ways that we've tried to really be smart about the design. We've looked at the design of a lot of different phones, and when there's a great deal of variation in where those commands are placed, we find that it takes users a 